Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Hector Ellis Major. This is the the Lone so Fuck it. Start it over. Start it over! I scream so loud. <laughs> this is, I'm keeping this shit. I'm not no! starting over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the Lone Sword and Hector Ellis Major back for episode four. Sorry, I was absent last episode. I had some um, personal matters to take care of. I had to service my woman, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but I'm amazing. here this time. We unfortunately do not have Alyssa Cat with us today. She's, I'm guessing, servicing her man. No, she's actually uh, servicing her grandmother, making sure that she's okay. Ah, Momo. Good old Momo. Good old Momo. Shout out to Momo. Is she still in the hospital? No, she's actually recovering quite well. GG Momo. Always a G -G good game Momo. when Momo's around. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can just take off the radio host voice now. It's, I think you brought us in. <laughs> I think it's entertaining, though. That's kind of And here on the 5 northbound, we have a little <laughs> bit of traffic build <laughs> Five northbound. Oh my god. All right. Uh, All so right. I let him bring us in. Obviously, that was a terrible mistake. But welcome what? everybody to the fourth episode. Uh, today we kind of wanted to talk firstly about a possible name for this podcast, uh, and uh, just tell you like the background behind that and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but I mean, it's not really set in stone. We're kind of, it's kind of just like a concept, but it's a pretty strong concept. So we might roll with it, but should anyone bring up anything else? We might consider that too. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the name that we have it, that we have picked well, out right now. First of all, you told me to drop the what, fucking newscaster voice, but you're talking in the same voice. That is not the same voice. It's Coming up next, similar. sports. Like, no, what the fuck? <laughs> No. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Continue, continue. <laughs> yeah, this is already an amazing episode, by the way. Oh, this, yeah. This is already going I bet swimmingly. these last two minutes have been more entertaining than the entire last episode without me. No, I mean, the last episode was a little bit more of, like, a serious talking kind of thing. Like, we talked about a little bit more touchy topics, and, I mean, there were times where, we were like, God damn, I wish we had a... A big nose motherfucker that was I knew you we were gonna bring up my fucking nose. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's get into it. Let's get down to the. Yes, bin. please, for the love of God, let me start this podcast. <laughs> it's already started, baby. They're on. They're, they're Why right. you gotta I'm say your baby? Gone. Oh my god. All right. Well, you're trying. Uh, baby girl get your number baby girl okay let's get into it yeah please for the love of god <laughs> the name of this podcast <laughs> that we have picked out uh is camping buddies and you know i'm actually gonna let hector over here uh take the lead in why uh we want to change it to that we might want to change it to that because he's actually the one who came up with it and it's it's a pretty decent reason Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah what was it um so our group chat on snapchat me Alyssa cat and lone sword that's the name of our group chat on snap and um what when i initially like suggested we make that our podcast name um lone sword here wasn't all that into it he was trying to shoot it down or like I'm make a twist that. on it make some weird fucking hey what, hey. what were your suggestions like the pod camping camp, podcast pod, pod camp pod camp <laughs> camp cast <cast> fire <laughs> camp cast pod fire there you go some ridiculous shit and i just thought straight up camping buddies was like honestly just perfect it just clicked it seems perfect to me it's short sweet it makes sense um it stems okay. from what a year ago during covid the three of us went on a little camping trip and uh yeah that's what made us name our group chat camping buddies because it was the three of us right and i think it's really fitting because it's like you know on a podcast you sit around and you like tell stories you talk about stuff you shoot the shit so shoot the shit, indeed. it's pretty indeed. similar to sitting around a camp sitting around a campfire 
Yep. Yeah. I think See, that hand in hand. I think it. Yeah. And that's his reason for it. I was trying. I was shooting it down just because I. I honestly thought my ideas for the spin on it was very good. Uh, campfire, campfire cast. Honestly, I mean, come on. I thought it was pretty good. Anyway, campfire cast is okay, but camp pod podcast, camp, camp pod camp cast. <laughs> Jesus born, it's Jason Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the strongest, but I think camping buddies. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not It's horrible. not just Campfire Podcast. It, it, like, Camping Buddies reflects like that. There's a friendship and, like, a buddiness. Buddiness, you know? yeah. Well, uh, like like I had initially said, though, it is a concept that we kind of strong... We're pretty strong on, uh, at least I unanimously. I think it's very strong. And the, the background that you found of, like, a dude sitting by a campfire or by a tent... I think that's a dope ass background for us to have. We would just yeah, have to add yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and me put that into one it. on the screen right now because I actually did not. I actually I have vaporwave up right now, so I'll go ahead and put that on the screen. Vaporwave. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, so you can see like in the background, I found this like little uh, pixely kind of campfire gif guy, mm -hmm. and. Uh, he looks a lot like me, and I thought that was a little bit creepy, so, <laughs> so I decided to go with I it. I think it's fate. It's meant to be. It's how right. it's supposed to be. Right. Well, anyway. Uh, so, outside of the name, like I said, we are pretty strong on it, but if you guys had any other suggestions, we would gladly take them into account. Uh, take I, think, I think it would be pretty dope, because, like, Say one day, like, say this takes off. Say we eventually have merch. I think we could make some pretty cool merch out of a Camping Buddies theme. Camping you know, Buddies. Like a little, yeah. little campfire. A little campfire on a hat. Bro, I'd buy that. That actually... Okay, well, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just have, like, our... Uh, like, uh, our gamer tags or whatever... On the side, maybe, or like know. on the sleeves or Ooh, of a T-shirt, yeah. and then like a little yeah, campfire yeah. on like the, the pet, or like a jersey. Ooh, a jersey. That'd be kind of cool, like having like the the gamer tags on the back, and then having like the little campfire on the back. Right. Like we're the we're the camping buddies. <laughs> right, we're, we're getting kind of ahead <laughs> of the, ourselves. We're, there. we're the we're the camping the buddies. Four. Yeah, this episode four. <laughs> We've got like half a viewer. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, they've they've been doing uh, they've been doing all right. Not okay. super super solid, but all right. Um, let's see. So the first topic we're gonna talk about because this is actually gonna be a little bit more of a personal podcast today since we couldn't really find any like current events that like really meant shit to us. Uh, the first topic we're gonna have that's actually a current event is Ramparts buff from Apex Legends. And what we both uh, think about that, and I'll go first on that. Uh, You're I... gonna have to tell me what it all is, because I'm not even sure. I haven't looked at the actual patch notes and updates for it. I just know she can carry around that big ass gun now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, she, uh, yeah, she can carry around Sheila, and it's pretty, it's pretty disgusting. Um, but. So like you, it's possible to win a game with just Sheila if you have the ult excels and all that kind of stuff. You also have to have the good teammates though, and like the wind up is so much. Plus you move super fucking slow when you're ADS'd on that thing. So like, yeah. I honestly think that this isn't that bad. It like, seems like a balance. Yeah, I I don't think I've like died to Sheila a whole lot. It still seems very uh, easy to like get away from. At least with mm -hmm. who I play as, I don't know. Yeah, so if you're Gibby, you might it's... be fucked. <laughs> For sure. I mean, unless you threw down your dome like point two seconds before you're downed. Yeah, pretty much. But like, so the wind up on it, like when you're pulling the trigger trying to shoot is it slower now than it was on the turret or what uh 
the wind up. Mm, is it about the same? I think I think it's I think it is slower than if you had it in stationary mode. Hmm. Because you have to like bring it up and then start winding up rather than like just hopping on the thing and then winding it up. Huh. If that makes sense. I don't know. I think could you like tap it to like <laughs> start the wind up? No. Like, tap, uh, tap, 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 I, tap. I was trying like, to do like that. Free fire in a way. I was trying to do that, but you still go like slow as shit, I think. But you mm-hmm. can't like tap it and keep it up. Huh. It's either you're doing it or you're not. Because like it's it goes from like right. zero to a hundred or it's just uh zero to fifty to zero. Like it does like if you cancel the wind up, it's like it's just it starts all wind over. up. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to try playing her next time we play. Yeah. So I mean, eh, like I said, it's not it's not that strong, but. Uh, and that's like it's, really her only buff. Is that's really it. carrying Sheila. Yeah, that that's really it. Uh, Octane actually got a nerf. Um, his jump what? pad doesn't doesn't shoot you as far. Really? Yeah, it's like it's down by like ten percent, I think. No which, way. Yeah, which I didn't really think was needed. No. I, I think it was like way more fun they to just buffed keep it, like, it like a couple seasons ago. Yeah, and the like kind of sucks too is like uh they marked the ultimate rotation on Olympus, right? Yeah. So now what you and, can't make and it. And now you can, and now you can't do it if you put your jump pad there. That's fucking whack. Like, cause you yeah. would just barely make it. No, no. like you make it by. Well, like you just have to put it on the ledge in front of that, and then I think you make it. Mm. So uh, that's kind of bad. But... That's dub. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. that's that's the uh, currencies of uh, Apex right now, though. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh wow. You know, I probably should have told this story before that. Okay. The next topic that I have on this little list here is uh, actually pertains to why you want to call this thing camping buddies. I have a story from this and Hector over here was present for that. Obviously um, mm. my first fish I ever caught was on that camping trip. Yes, sir. And you could not take the smile off my face. <laughs> it hey, was, who, who it put was you on that fish. Hmm? Who put you on that fish? I casted that shit. I mm. thought it was the only annoying. Was it? Was it the? Was it my fish that the lady was super annoying with, or was it yes. a fish we caught right after that? Pretty sure it was yours. Okay. Well. Yeah. So you caught the fish, and we had it in like a little puddle, and she was like, yeah. "What kind of fish is that?" And I was like, "It's a bass." And she was like, "What kind of fish what is, kind of is fish that?" Is that? I'm like, it's a bass. Uh, <laughs> what kind of fish is it? It's a largemouth bass, ma'am. Oh, but what kind of fish is it? It's a fucking bass, lady. Yeah. It's called yeah. a bass. Oh, hey, Ghost. God, that was so fucking oh annoying. God, she was so fucking annoying about it. Like, like, she's like why'd you catch? Why'd I you know catch? She could hear me. Why'd you catch? Yeah, like, I there's know no. She could hear me. It was not that hard to hear, yeah. You know? Um, that was one of the most adrenaline filled moments of my life. And I, my favorite part of it, the experience was when we reeled it in and we just called it a stupid bitch over and over. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb little piss baby. Dumb little yeah, look bitch. At you, look at you getting caught on a fucking fake fish. Like, <laughs> a fake fish, like, like, yeah. <laughs> little dummy. And then Alyssa was in the tent, I think, sleeping. Dude, she was taking and... a nap, dude. Yeah, and I think... She slept I don't know if it was my fish or... Fish. Yeah, I don't know if it was your fish or my fish that we ran over and, like... I think it was your fish. You, like, yeah, ran over. Yeah, my fish, I, I and, like, ran it over. And then, and then you threw it back. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know if I woke her up or not. I can't remember. But for years, oh, she was still asleep. And... But yeah, the whole story like leading up to that is just fucking... 
I think it's really funny because what you were always making fun of me for liking fishing and blah blah blah, and then you were like open to trying it. I and never, okay, you okay. never caught a fish. Oh my god, it I took you never, so long to catch one. Right, right. I never once uh, said I wasn't open to fishing. I always thought fishing was fun. I just made fun of you because of how much you liked it. I always thought fishing was fun. I just never like went fishing enough to uh-huh. ever have grown as attached to fishing as you are. I'm still not as attached to fishing as you are. That is your. Well, I got into it. I I really yeah. liked it because you get that adrenaline adrenaline rush and like it just feels so like satisfying to like hold right. on to one, pull it in. You hold it. You didn't even hold yours. Yeah, I was, one, I was one of the scaled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I held it with the, I put some crazy pictures on my phone with that. Yeah, I was, I look like a maniac holding that thing. (laughs) Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, yeah. So the story of it, um, what was it? So we tried fishing a few times, a couple times, while out at that camping trip on the lake. Um. Didn't catch anything, and then we tried the one spot that was actually close to our. That was like right next to us, yeah. Yeah, literally right next to us. And it was like around sunset, I think. And what the way that I caught my fish was like, he didn't even bite it. It just like, I was reeling it. Wait, can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, so I was just reeling it, and it like looked like it hooked on his gills or like under his chin. And it was, like, super weird. But I got that bitch in. <laughs> Better believe. Ooh, it was on that $7 lure, which is expensive, by the and way, you know for what? all you non-fishing enthusiasts. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think you got that at a discount, though, didn't you? Yeah, a little bit of a discount. Yeah. Um. But, dude, I was so – I really didn't want to lose that thing. You remember when I cast it and it got stuck on a tree branch I needed to, like, walk in, yeah. Yeah, so the lake, you're not allowed to swim in. You're not allowed to even have your feet in the water. Um. Yeah. But I walked right out there, and it went up, like, I don't know, like halfway up my thighs, really. Yeah, he, he got pretty wet. I had to there. go that deep. And then yeah. <laughs> it was, like, I don't know, 25, 30 feet. And then I have to reach down and unhook it, and like I don't know, I was scared I was gonna get my fucking hand or toe caught on the hook. Yeah. But I got that thing. Still have it today too. <laughs> Still kicking. Uh, yep. <laughs> and you know it's crazy actually. I <clears throat> I haven't caught a fish since then until I went to uh, Lake O'Neill on Pendleton. The crappie you got, yeah. And then I tried, uh, what the heck was that? I tried, uh, or I tried, I caught, uh, like, like literally like six bluegill, I think. Yep. <laughs> and that was, that was really fun. I almost hit, uh, Janelle's sister in the <laughs> face with a bluegill. Jeez. Yeah, that was fun reeling it in. Uh, but my favorite catch that I've had so far has been a turtle. Oh my god. That was really fun. Mm. It was not happy to be there. <laughs> yeah. I thought I, mean, I, I thought I straight up caught a, a catfish. No. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's a big one. <laughs> it's a fucking turtle, yes. It's oh, pretty wild. Turtle. Yep. Uh Wow. So that's yeah. that's that's where like, I'm at for when, that. I don't know how many you've caught, caught your fish. Since then. Um, well, I sent you a picture of how many fucking trout I caught. I caught a giant trout up here. It's a good size. I don't know, like seven, six, seven pounds. And you don't keep them. Oh, I, I, we kept all of them. Me and Keith on our little fishing trip. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Yeah. The big one I cooked up. Ah, how was that? It was delish, actually. Delicious. I was a little worried about it, because, I don't know, eating... Wild caught fish kind of makes me uneasy. Like, I'm scared of, like, parasites and shit. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't, like, the nicest place we caught it at. 
you know it wasn't like super away from civilization super clean water or anything it was like a stocked lake um or like yeah, people could swim yeah it's a stocked lake oh so they can swim yeah it wasn't like the nicest cleanest lake right um or it's more but of I'm... a pond really yeah but, but i mean if it's if it's like stocked then i'm sure it's mm -hmm. not the dirtiest fish yeah and like people catch and keep them all the time yeah. Um. But yeah. But um. Back to when wow. you caught your first fish at that mm -hmm. on the camping trip, you like didn't even know if you had a fish. You thought you might have just been snagged. And I'm like, no, no, dude, you got a fish nah, on there. Man, that's a fish. And you were all like back and forth. You were like, oh wait, maybe I do got one. Oh no, I think I'm just snagged. Oh maybe it is one. Oh I don't know. I'm that's not right. I oh, actually my God, don't the remember. Fish. Yeah, I don't yeah. even remember. I actually don't remember. Yeah, it was kind of like that. I'm thinking about right now. I'm <laughs> thinking about Alyssa, like when she's gonna go back and listen to this, right? I, I already gonna, know like, she's gonna be like, "This is gonna be. Gonna this is the worst podcast much. ever. <laughs> 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 this is the worst episode we've had." <laughs> okay. Okay. One more thing, and then we'll move on to a different topic. Okay. Okay. But after we caught it, we we fucking killed that. Sorry to all the vegans and animal activists out there. We, oh, killed, yeah, we killed that, that bitch, bitch. Cut them up. Gutted them. Fucking filleted them up. Brought it was home. really clean, too. He did a good job doing that. Yeah. It was kind of a pain. But... And you made me do all the work. You made me fillet your fish. Well, no shit. I have no idea what I'm doing. It was my <laughs> first fish. You also didn't even want to touch it when it was, like, alive. Oh, well, yeah, so. I didn't. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that's scary. And the whole time Alyssa was still sleeping. It took like yeah, an hour we were to able, clean that thing. I think we were able to do all of that. Yeah. I think we were able to catch mine and keep it somewhere for you to fish a look like two more times and then we were able to get it. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. It was a weird experience. I mean, it was a great experience. It was a weird experience because Alyssa was like just AFK. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. Yeah. And then what, later that night? I wish we had cooked up the fish that night. That would have been yeah. kind of cool. Did we have tacos that night? No, we had hot dogs that night, I'm pretty sure. Uh, those tacos were busting, though. Those were some pretty good tacos. Those are really good tacos. But Alyssa was all picky. She doesn't like whatever. I don't know. Oh, the corn tortillas she didn't like. I mean, I don't like corn tortillas either. I mean, they're not my preference, but I'll still eat them. Yeah, if they're, if they're that good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. we had some pretty good food on that trip. We did, except for the fucking bees. I wish I... Uh, dude, I am telling you oh, right now, bees. I really wish I had... I really wish I drank on that trip. Holy shit. Dude, seriously! <laughs> oh, it would have been so much more fun. Uh, yeah, we would have been the... The worst people at that site, I swear to God. <laughs> we were alone for the first two Yeah, nights. up until, like, the last night that we were yeah. there. It's crazy. Which is, like, whatever, but... Yep. Yeah. It was cool, though. Yeah. Alright, well, moving yeah. on from it's this... Moving on. Yeah, moving on from this camping trip that I'm sure we'll talk about more in the future. Um... I wanted to talk about uh, something that we've been seeing on TikTok quite a bit, which is the devious licks trend. Oh, you didn't put that on the list, but okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. So that's what's leading into what's on the list. So what's on oh, okay, the list okay. is our is our high school experience versus the current generation's high school experience. And I'm telling you right now, if any of us tried to pull a devious lick back in the day, we would be in fucking prison. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> like there's no if ands or but like i don't think like it is insane it baffles me how easy it is for these kids to do this in the first place <laughs> like, so i think the whole trend like no one caught them fake. no 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 no. like tons tons of this is real god 
Yeah, like, I think, like, a lot of the big stuff might be fake, like, oh, it was, like, a donation thing, or, oh, like, I bought that, or something like that, but some of this shit is fucking real, like, there's the one where, uh, the guy took the, uh, the one that you sent me, it was, uh, the paper towel dispenser. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, I was, Honestly, like, you're telling me, you're literally telling me, no one saw him do that. <laughs> well, like... Say it's, like, during class, and he goes to the bathroom, and, you know, not a that's lot like of people the, are going to the bathroom during class. That's, like, the prime time for a janitor to be cleaning it, because no one's there. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe, maybe have... the kid waited until after the janitor cleaned the bathroom, there's... so it would but be, then... like, freshly refilled towel dispenser. But then there's also the dude who stole the fucking security camera, like, excuse me? Was that, that was not on? <laughs> That's probably a cap. And then the kid who stole the uh, the smart board, and the kid who stole the projector. What? Smart <laughs> board? <laughs> Someone stole an entire sm- No. <laughs> That's bullshit right there. That and, like, there's a guy bullshit. who is, like, stitching it or whatever, and he's like, bro, this guy wins. Do you know how much a smart board is? It's, like, $3,000. <laughs> Jeez. And then there's these kids who, like, there was, like, a, a rail on, like, a little staircase. And they took the fucking rail. They what? ripped the rail out of the fucking ground. <laughs> For no oh reason. <laughs> and, like, devious, like... I mean, it is devious. <laughs> it is lick. <laughs> it's just so inconvenient for a lot of these things. I mean, kids went, like, crazy, though. Like, some kids took... Like, entire bathrooms. Yeah, I like, saw one, after... like, kids just straight up, like, destroyed a Vandalized, bathroom. Vandalized, yeah. For whatever fucking reason. Yeah, like, I don't know. I thought it was, like, really funny, like, with, like, just the most random shit, but, like, actually just destroying shit for no, for clout is stupid. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I definitely think a lot of it is faked, but, um... A lot of it is real at the same time. And yeah. I know, like, just on TikTok, a lot of the videos, like, 95% of the videos are taken down. Because, like, yeah, I'm sure people are getting repercussions from it. Yeah. I mean, I was watching uh, Moist Critical, and he was talking about it. He was oh just God. like, yeah, there's, like, no benefit to them doing this. Like, it's not, like, they're not getting what? paid by TikTok to fucking... I would love to have a towel dispenser. Well, no, 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 like, like, for a lot of the other shit, though. Like, unless you're stealing something practical for you, like, I can't yeah. imagine, like, you're benefiting from this at all. At mm-hmm. all. Like, why do you need a soap dispenser? <laughs> to dispense soap? What's gonna happen when like, you run out of why do you need? <laughs> why do you need a ceiling tile? Yeah, what the fuck? Like that, that's just, that, I, yeah. it's dumb. Or, like, a bathroom door, as it, it made no the sense. security camera, like, what? <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna do with it? A memoir of your high Actually, school. The bathroom years. door I could see is like a fun thing. Like, say you're in high school, use it as your beer pong table. That's not bad. Ooh, you're you are a delinquent. <laughs> I never, never would have thought of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So, so getting back into like the actual topic I've written down. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, what was your high school experience like compared to what you, how easy or how hard you think, uh, this current generation has it? Okay. For one. Okay. I know back in my day in high school, like we were all cringe, you know, we're kids, oh, cringe but as hell. these days, oh my God, high school kids are just the worst. Oh yeah. Like this has to be like one of the worst fucking generations. Like it sounds so, so it sounds so old saying that too. Yeah, and like I feel like people are gonna think like, oh, you're not even that much older than them. But I feel a lot older. Yeah, than I them. feel like, so like, much. Older. I can hand, I can breathe without having my phone next to me twenty four fucking seven. I yep. I don't need to have my phone glued to me. But these fucking kids are just all over it. Like especially with TikTok and how it's blown up. Fucking right. these kids. Oh my god. But yeah, my high school experience, I'd say it was pretty mellow like um what in my first high school um 
I don't know. It was pretty cool. Not much, like, bad stuff happened. There was this one week, though. They called it Fight Week. I think we've talked about this before. Fight Week? Fight Week, yeah. There was this whole week where, like, people were just going around fighting each other. Like, people would want to fight. And one of the days in the week, like, the school called in the SWAT team. And there were, like, 20 police cars out front. Oh, and they blocked shit. off certain, like, entrances to hallways, so you'd have to, like, Holy go shit. extra long routes to get to your class. And uh, and then there was, like, a bomb threat, in a way, on the Holy same shit. week. And it was, it was a fake, it was like a smoke bomb or something. Yeah, like this is, this generation of delinquents. Back in my day, all we had was bomb threats. <laughs> <laughs> Grow some hair on your nuts, kids. <laughs> I mean, like, okay, so what I'm going to compare here, right, is a few things. Graduation and school as a whole, probably way fucking easier. Probably way fucking easier back in my day. Because, one, you have all these, like, new age things, like, uh, the concept of, like, uh, pronouns, uh, the LGBTQ community being a lot more prominent. Not saying that this is, like, anything bad or anything like that, but, like, it's not something that you ever... I think it would be, I think, like, as a social aspect, like, you have to watch your, like, you have to really watch what you say a lot of times nowadays. And, like, I'm not saying, like, that's a bad thing, I'm just saying, like, it makes it a little bit more difficult maybe to socialize because you never know yeah, who you're going to rub the wrong way. Mm -hmm. uh, graduation. Like, I'm sure in, like, in English class, I'm sure there's a lot of like controversial like learning topics things. Like like in oh, yeah. older books, like from like the 70s, 60s, whatever fucking 1900s age, like books we still read today that are part of the curriculum, they had a lot of controversial stuff. Right. And I'm sure it's a lot more touchy now with how things are like progressing oh yeah so i wonder like, if they're like taking stuff out of that curriculum you know i hope they do change the curriculum because the curriculum i felt teaches almost nothing like in english class i felt like i learned the most just because i learned a lot of like uh like kind of like reading a person kind of a thing i don't know mm -hmm. uh a lot of foreshadows a lot of i don't know i, I learned a lot about more life aspect in english than i had in a lot of other classes and i think they need to teach more of that like what you get to look forward to in life mm. and i think they need to let you choose like a lot more classes than they do like sure sometimes you're gonna want to choose a fun class but that'll land you a job at like fucking mcdonald's sure if you want to learn like well, how life is gonna be choose a class that shows you well like there's the electives which are just supposed to be like the kind of fun classes that do teach you things about life like there's auto mechanics there's food right there's, i mean if you're into art there's art um you should also uh be able, so like say uh you either take general math or you take a specific math that's going to help you on your path in college so like a pre yeah. prerequisite to college uh mm -hmm. and like you have the option between that math the math that you're that you want to take that's a prerequisite or like five other different math classes that only focus on a certain type of math that can really only benefit so, you i'm guessing they didn't really have a lot of options in anza where you were because in my oh schools, no they have nothing they have nothing <laughs> yeah in my schools there were a good amount of choices for math classes like um, once I got my basic school math credits done, um, what, last one I took in my junior year, either junior, what did I take senior? My junior year, I know I finished, uh, Algebra 2, and I don't think I needed anything, like, specific after that. I was able to choose, um, personal finance, which is a good thing for, like, entering the real world, you know, something about your life in the future. Right. I um, think we had something like that. Just one, yeah. though. Yeah, so I took personal finance, but honestly, I don't think... It didn't really teach me all that much. I think because it was, like, a newer class, and right. the teacher was, like, I don't know. She wasn't... It was more of, like, a fun whatever class that you're getting a credit for, but, like... It's supposed to when, teach you and help you and show you things, but it's not, like, super serious, like, you need to pass this for sure. 
I graduated. feel like I feel like for government courses, uh, government is usually at least for my school is taught by the history teacher, which yeah. means that like we dove into like government's pasts and like uh, other Dude, countries' I hated government governments. So much. I think you. I think what they really need to do is focus on what's currently going on and like teach off of that. Yeah, like I mean, not lean any which way, but like really teach you like what's going on for sure, and yeah. show you like and like kind of lead you down a path where you can have form your own opinion rather mm -hmm. than like, oh, this happened in like the '60s to our government, and that's right. why it's like this today. Like, oh, I don't give a shit about that. I need to know what's going on now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I know in. In mine, they did teach us about, like, the old presidents and shit, and, like, I never really cared for government as a whole. Like, I just hated the whole government class, the whole government stuff as a whole, not even just in school. But, um, uh, like, somehow, in my senior year, it lined up perfectly. Um, it was the time for the Trump election, so we would watch, right. like, the debates and stuff during class sometimes. And, like, so they, say they showed us, like, current things they would show us like the current polls and numbers and stuff and like all of that but they never like tried to push us in any sort of direction i remember seeing uh the election all day like nothing but the election obviously and i get home and like i go to my room and i try to do like literally anything else because i don't give a shit and I walk into my mom's room just randomly, and it's like the literal very end of the election, and there's just that little shit stain on the on the TV, <laughs> like one by a pube hair it, to me, I think. Uh, and it's just like, oh my god, I don't know. Like the last two elections, we haven't had the best people to choose, but I mean, I also don't have a fucking opinion, so what do I know? Mm hmm. Uh, damn, that, that didn't even, okay, <laughs> it's so high school, <laughs> damn, that was a tangent, oh, um... okay, so yeah, high school experience, mine, and my first two years was pretty mellow, I literally had, like, no fucking friends, basically, oh, somehow I landed a girlfriend, though, so that Aww. helped, I guess, but yeah, nothing really crazy happened there, um, my second two years of high school was a different school, um, I don't know, I feel like there weren't really, I wasn't really around, like, troublemaking kids or anything, like, no devious lick kind of people. Yeah, I guess if the like, trend was happening at that time, it might have happened. It would be kind of crazy, like, it, some of like, the people I know would go fucking nuts. Oh, yeah. But. I mean, like, but these are the, okay, so I will say another thing, this generation seems so fucking cookie cuttered. Every fucking dude in high school right now looks exactly the same. And you it's know what like you know exactly what they look like? Hmm. Garrison. Ah. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Gary boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, so so Garrison does look different now, but he's still in that Not range much. of cookie cutter. Like yeah. every freshman looks how he looks how he looked when we first met him yeah everything else looks like how he is now every single high schooler looks like he they smoke a pack of cigarettes a day and have to like shave like every week Jeez, there's just like different trends each whatever couple of years like i know right was it in my early high school years the the, the real in thing was um but I was in like a certain like kind of a beach beach city, right. so it was always like dudes with like I don't know Hurley or Volcom t-shirts, um, like maybe like khaki or whatever shorts that are like kind of frayed at the bottom, right? And then Nike Elite socks and Vans. That's I mean that's probably. No, like, that's exactly were... what mine is too. Actually, <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's like, pretty spot on. There were people that would wear those elite socks so religiously. Like I know a lot of people would just stop growing leg hair where the socks would cover. That's disgusting, right? I don't it know. was <laughs> excessive. 
You know, like, you can uh, change it up a little. Come on. <laughs> you know what I just remembered was like a really. I always thought this is like the weirdest thing to me. I never understood it. Why the fuck did everyone need a Jan Sport backpack? Honestly, I like that trend. I I think yeah, I like but Jansport like, backpacks. but like, I it's not. I'm not saying it's like a bad brand, but like. Why? Just because, like, they were simple, what was the small, pole? stylish, convenient. Not at yeah. my fault. Fu- chicks were taking, like, eight classes or, like, extracurriculums and a sport or some shit like that. They'd have all their clothes plus their books plus their homework all on a fucking Jansport that was holding on by a fucking shoestring. The like, two-pouch one? Or the big, yeah. big one? I think some of them had big, big ones. I had a, I had a girlfriend in high school. I think they had a big, big one. Either that, it was like a donated trans uh, sport, which, by the way, not bad. Literally, just the same thing, but cheap. Uh, huh. Jansport backpacks are like 60 bucks. Yeah, they are pricey. And it made no sense to me. I was like, why would you spend clout, 60 baby. All for the clout. And it made no sense. Like, pe- So my high school had flat black or checkered vans with <laughs> no shoe str- with no strings. And those Nike Elite socks, shorts, shorts or jorts, uh, and a chain and a shirt that is way too big for them. So, oh, a chain that was my, and yeah, a shirt chain. that's too big for them. Yeah, that was more like dress like than it was like baggy. Like, and they were sagging. Sagging was huge. I don't know if sagging is still huge. <laughs> um, dude, fucking, I have this one coworker. I don't know. He's one. He fits the demographic. That's all I'm gonna say. Fits. The he's like quite a bit older. I think he's like around thirty or something. And like, he'll wear shorts under his pants just so he can sag. And yeah, like why? I fucking hate it. A lot of kids in that in high school, anytime they wore pants, they did that. Yeah, like they had gym shorts below their pants. Yeah, it's like why? I hate it. And like I tried it one or two times, and I was just like, yeah. "This is dumb. This is." I mean, yeah, it's a nice, it's it's cushy, but it's like, why? And like my coworker, he would be doing that on like. 110, 115 degrees degree days, and he's the yeah. grill guy. I'm like, dude, oh. how are you? How are you not having a heat stroke right now, my man? Yeah, that is like not, I'll be wearing yeah. some like breathable ass pants and like just you know my chones underneath, and I'll be my getting swamp ass like, like that. Dude, I get swamp ass so bad working chill. Oh my god. Bro, I need to like uh I have a problem. Um uh, so like back in high school I, I and to this day I do not have an ass. I have what's known as a negative ass. My back <laughs> like retreats into my body once it gets down to my ass. Um <laughs> so uh I remember there was a time in high school where this like pretty popular guy, uh Jacob Graves he uh he fucking i remember he was he saw my fucking i think adidas i had like really cool high top adidas i actually love those things i have no idea what happened to him uh but he was like complimenting him and then afterwards at some point i think we had like a pep rally or a fucking fire drill or some shit and uh he's just like are you trying to sag i'm like no and he's just like but it looks good I'm like, I'm like, what? <laughs> and so, like, I just pull up my pants. I'm like, oh, well, it fell down because I don't have a fucking ass. Like, <laughs> and that's well, to this good. day. So. <laughs> well, it was good. Good job out there, champ. <laughs> it made no sense to me. But yeah, so sagging was fucking huge. Uh, my, I'm just gonna say that like my high school experience had to have been easier than these kids' high school experience. But at the same time, I think it's so rare and far between to find anyone like, like uh, say me in this current generation, 
like like how i was saying everyone's like kind of cookie cutter i mm-hmm. don't think there's a single one of those people who's like this giant fucking nerd like everyone's like Ooh, oh JDM, no they're absolutely cars is. kickbacks there's still uh, nerds out there dude especially now with like how technology's going in gaming and like Gaming PCs are just, like, a huge fucking trend right now. So, yeah, there's the cookie-cutter kids that are, like, Garrison, but there's also the gamers, the anime nerds, you know, all that. There's still those different demographics and clicks. I will say anime is way more of a thing in this generation oh than God, it was it's, in mine. It's, it's blown up so fucking Dude, much. I used to be made fun of so much just because I watched Dragon Ball. Mm. And it's, like wow and now we got you on naruto like <laughs> i don't know like uh i don't mean to throw gary under the bus too much in this podcast <laughs> <laughs> but do you remember like when he's like i'm never gonna watch that anime shit yeah <laughs> and then he's just like i relate so much to sasuke like what the fuck does that even mean Dude, seriously <laughs> what? He just, you relate he to fucking, sasuke he was like yeah i'm like he would say how he's not into it and then, like, all of a sudden, anime kind of becomes a trend. This is, like, the very start of it, I guess. Right, yeah. Um, and then he watches, a f- what, like, five episodes of Naruto, and he's and then he gets Sasuke stickers for his car. Yeah. That's just, like, um... Just anime is such an trends. awesome art form. People really need to appreciate it more. It, I think, it has such I think Garrison stories. was more against hentai than anime. Oh, well, you can't you can't live I think in a that's world where said. you don't like one or the other. Mm. How do you that is interesting. Do you think hentai has ever birthed an anime addiction, or do you think it's always the other way around? Um I'd say the other way around. You think it's the other way around? I'd say uh, anime yeah, yeah, yeah. leads to yeah, hentai. Anime aids to hentai, yeah, okay, okay. No, we are not talking about that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> who just who just liked that? Alyssa, Alyssa just got online. Alyssa, what the fuck? She, I'm guessing she saw I typed that and she was like, "Oh, gotta get on this real quick." I'm gonna get on that. <laughs> She's just sitting on her phone. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, we're not. Yeah, it's a cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Fuck, well now I have to say it because we're we can't just yeah, like, you can't leave the people keep hanging. on guessing, motherfucker. <laughs> that was your plan all along. Speaking of <laughs> hentai, ladies and gentlemen, the uh Anka video, is that how you say her name? Anka? I guess. Anka? Anka? Yeah, so uh you know what? I'll just make it a fucking topic. I don't think it's literally fucking anything. It's it's just fucking hentai. It's nothing Minus 8 hasn't done before with any other character. He's made Shy Guy, Koopa, the Piranha Plant into, like, female characters. They've fucked something. Like, it's... Well, all of this I was unaware of. (laughs) What the fuck? Yeah, no. Minus minus 8 is a huge, uh... Like, he turns mostly, like, Nintendo stuff into, like, uh... Porn? Pornographic, yeah. I mean... The, like I said, the uh, yeah, I will actually. I'm gonna look into that later. I like those ones way more than this, more than this Anka vid. But everyone's like, let's recreate this. Like, so you want to have sex? Like, it's, <laughs> it's really not that crazy. Like, the only crazy uh, part of that was like she broke his dick, and then like spirit away his fucking dick back to life. <laughs> I don't know, so, I, was, I was into it. I just watched it for the first time today, and I can see the hype. I enjoyed it. I don't think there needs to be that much hype. Like, it's you find way better stuff on a fucking hentai. You find way better stuff live action. Like, like I've watched uh, Miriam the Succubus, and it seems like a similar thing, just not as meme Miriam the Succubus. Is that mm-hmm. the uh that one sounds really familiar. Is that the like little devil girl? Yeah. The red like devil girl? Demon. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I had a feeling. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 t- tips my fedora in your direction. <laughs> 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 uh 
Um, but yeah, I seriously don't think it's worth the fucking hype. People are like, let's recreate this. Just looking for someone to recreate this with. Uh, and it's like, people are like shocked that it's porn. Like, well, how could you do that to Anka? Oh, I mean, how could we fucking do that to Koopa Troopa? Calm down. Like, <laughs> if, if it exists, there's porn of it. Yeah. I, wa- I actually read a really good comic, uh, like, a day or two ago, I think, uh, that I saw on fucking TikTok. <laughs> and it was fucking uh, Jaden Animations. Like, she didn't make it. But someone made a like comic strip of her and another uh, animator on YouTube, and used their OCs, uh, and made like a little pornographic comic. It was pretty alright. Pretty good. It's okay. I thought it was weird because like everyone was like literally white, like not like a tan white, but like literally like canvas white. But uh-huh. it's, a, it's interesting. But that's how her videos are anyway. So that's. I mean, that's why. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, it's... It's really not worth the hype that it gets on TikTok. It's fucking porn. Who cares? I like that. I saw a good cosplay for it today. I was like, yeah, I'd like to recreate it. There, there is a few good cosplays, but, like, that's such a dumb place for the cosplay to come out of. Like, mm. Bowsette was the shit back in my day. <laughs> Yeah, wait, uh, how are people shocked about this? Bowsette and Boozette were awesome. Had to cut the podcast right there. This is like a little place marker for me to, you know, cut to. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, he's just laying down like a little boy. Uh, uh, what time are we at? We are at 52 minutes, and we were trying to get to like an hour and 10, I think. Okay. So, um,. Oh, well, no, because we oh, I'd have to cut out, like, fucking ten seconds. I don't know. Um, so, moving on from the high school experience and uh, the Anka vid. Uh, <laughs> I have another topic on here that's just more personal stuff. Um, the worst food that we have ever had. You see, I'm, I'm really trying to think. Nothing specific has come to mind yet, though. Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't know. Just first thing that, like, I think of would be, like, probably, like, some kind of, like, microwave dinner or some shit. Or, like, oh, maybe, a, like, elementary school food. Some of those lunches were just total really? shit. Uh, okay, but, like, so worst, let's, let's... worst, I don't know. So let's let's go in this way, okay? So like it doesn't have to be gross, it just doesn't have to be like good. Like as good as you were expecting, okay. right? Oh, you know, okay, I've got I've got I got I got a story. It's okay. I don't know if it's worse than, it might be worse, one of the worst things I've ever had. But so I was at a summer camp when I was like what around middle school and um you know, every day we'd like do activities and then we'd go to lunch and do more activities and um my neighbor back home he was one of the like camp counselors or supervisors or whatever and one of the days he was helping to like serve the food and we're like i was like going through the the line to get food and stuff and it's like you have a tray and then you go to one station one station one station get different foods and so one of the stations it had this like tub of like kind of I don't know, vanilla looking, like cream looking stuff. It kind of looked like pudding. I asked him, what's that? And he said, it's pudding, like vanilla or whatever pudding. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll get some of that. And then I get it. I go back to my table. I take a fat spoonful and I put it in my mouth. And biggest fucking surprise of my life, I spit it out. It's horseradish. <laughs> It's fucking horseradish. Oh I'm pretty my sure that's what it was. God. Oh, it was it caught me so off guard. I was so fucking disgusted by it. I had never had horseradish oh in my, my life God. for one. <laughs> and two, I was expecting a sweet and delicious vanilla pudding. <laughs> oh my god. And that's I get like... a fat spoon of horseradish. That's like uh I think you're about to 
gulp down some fucking uh, Coke and it's fucking milk. <laughs> no, that is not even a good comparison. It's like, you think you're about to drink milk and you get gasoline. <laughs> oh my god. That's not bad, alright. <laughs> my story is not nearly as vivid as that, damn. It's traumatizing, dude. Damn, oh my the worst, the worst god. food I've ever had. I honestly, uh, it's it would be way too easy for me to say Arby's. Um, Arby's is you don't so like fucking bad. Beef? It wasn't good Arby's. when I had it. It wasn't good when I had it last. Um, well, no, it's it's really easy to say Arby's, but at the same time, that's like where I have a good story too. Me and my mom both looked at each other when we were like fucking feral animals after we just got done with something down the hill. I think I just got my driver's license. And uh, so me and my mom look at each other like, should we give this a try? Just like, all right. You know what? Why not? Maybe it's gotten better. (laughs) We get it. We get inside. There's like one fat guy who looked like he could have been dead in the corner like half eaten sandwich he's just like slouched over sweating as hell, sweaty as hell and Jeez. some mexican ladies watching the cash register and there's one guy in the back cooking because that's all they need <laughs> to <don't> get business <laughs> um so my mom got that roast beef cheddar and i got the uh i think they had like a philly cheese stick or something at the time i got that um not only was my sandwich absolute garbage uh, my mom had me take a bite of hers because she hated it, and I tried it. It was awful. Uh, <laughs> and then we're like, oh, God, yeah, let's go somewhere else. After we took, like, two or three bites of our shit. And then my mom's like, yeah, let me get a soda. And she fills up her soda, and it's flat. <laughs> like, nothing about Arby's has ever been yeah. good for us. All right, so I think you went wrong with getting ones with cheese. Like a cheddar... Roast yeah, the cheddar, the cheddar roast beef is the only thing good. Mm-mm. I think just or the regular supposedly. roast beef, just like the roast beef and like some buttered buns or something. I think those are decent, but Dude. I think adding cheese to it is uh, just thinking about adding cheese to it makes me nauseous. Imagine, now. imagine being your catalyst, being adding cheese though. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine your downfall to your restaurant being adding cheese to something you serve. I can't imagine Arby's having good cheese, you know. I can't imagine them having good food. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I wasn't even the story I wanted to tell, though, right? but you know what? <laughs> Those are so bad. My mom got the curly fries. She's like, yeah, let's go somewhere else. I used to love their curly fries. My, okay, so that's not even the story I wanted to tell. I just Mm. thought it was a very easy one to tell. I was actually greatly disappointed when we went to uh, Cheesecake Factory. I got the carbonara from the Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory, and then you said Cheesecake Factory. Yep. I love Cheesecake Factory otherwise. I have a lot of good stuff. Macaroni balls, exquisite. But the carbonara does not hit. It is not good. It's literally like some shit you can make at home. It was like chunked chicken and like not even oh. like good seasoned chicken. It had like pepper on it. Oh. Like that's, that's about it. Uh, it had peas and shit in it, which I wouldn't have usually minded, but the pasta itself wasn't very creamy. It, it was like they used one fucking egg for the recipe. Um,. And they just, they, they had the thickest fucking noodles that probably would have been good had it been creamy. But, I mean, it, it literally tasted like they used one egg, an entire thing of, like, thick thickish spaghetti pasta. And then they took those, like, the frozen mixture of vegetables, dumped that shit in, and then just chunked some leftover chicken. Jeez, at Cheesecake That's what the, Factory? At Cheesecake Factory, yeah. And, like, uh, I think Janelle also got a pasta, and she said it wasn't good. It's like, I don't think the pasta here is good. 
Hmm. Like her pasta was like it sounded like very artistic and very uh chefy like the oh it was like a tomato basil pasta. Mm. Bro, it was literally like some fucking ragu on rigatoni like it was not good. <laughs> hey, let me let my little boy out. You 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 go ahead and lead off with the next topic. Okay. Let's start with it. Let's see where we at. So that's worst food we've ever had. Um, next topic, we have got Lil Nas X's new album, which I personally am a large fan of. I think it came out great. I actually was not expecting it. I had no idea it was going to drop. And then what? Well, one of our friends started posting it on his story. I'm like, oh, no way. Lil Nas posted a new album. And it's, uh, what, his Montero album. And... Most of the songs on it, I do really enjoy. I haven't, like, thoroughly listened to it, but I've, like, listened through the whole thing. I just didn't exactly pay attention to every single song. But a lot of the songs are actually really good, and I watched a music video for one of them. Like, my oh, favorite that must songs. Have been fantastic. Um, oh, dude. Dude. All right, nothing <laughs> against the gays out there, but goddamn, this... This dude this is man. a homosexual, <laughs> and he is not hiding it whatsoever. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. It was a really, <laughs> it really good song, really good music video, just extremely gay. First line of the song is, "I need a boy that I can cuddle with all night long," or something. Ah, and. Awesome. Yeah, it's and wholesome. Fuck. <laughs> and then, fuck. Yeah, like one part of the music video, they're like, what? Well, it's like the beginning of it is like they're staged in like a high school football team, and then like like halfway through, they're like grinding on each other naked in the gym bathroom, oh, okay. in the locker room. Dude, how the, much in the ass showers. do you think that guy gets? Holy I, shit! I'm curious about that too, actually. Yeah. I f- like, he's, is he I in think, a relationship or not? I'm not. If he's singing about wanting to fall in love and whatever, I. Well, don't I mean, think a so. lot of other people, a lot of artists do that. Like, I think Billy Eilish. No, I don't think he's in a relationship. I know he's like content. dated around, hooked up around, but he's like looking for something like real. actual long term, real. Yeah. I wonder how he feels about the whole uh, James Charles thing because I remember he let James Charles do his makeup one time. I wonder if they fucked. I kind of doubt they fucked. James Charles does not seem nearly anywhere I, near his type. Yeah. I think James Charles would fuck Lil Nas, but I don't think Lil Nas would fuck James Charles. I think James Charles would fuck just about anything that the heartbeat, even though that's <laughs> a little bit like, even though Jeez. that's a little bit like gracious. <laughs> yes, sisters. Mm. But yeah, Lil Nas, he's a really cool dude. Um, like, he posts TikToks, and they're actually really funny. Oh yeah, they're um, hilarious. The, lot, the first like, time I saw his TikTok, he posted one of him sleeping in bed with Shrek. Like, Shrek was, like, cuddling him with a filter. Oh, so that's a running so game. Like, funny. yesterday, I think, there was a TikTok I saw he made. It was um the scene from Shrek where he's like showering in mud, yeah, and then it comes like... to Lil Nas and he just picks up a lotion bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh it god, was like Shrek's ass crack is just like oh mm-hmm. fuck. Yeah, he's That's a funny bad. dude. He's cool. Yeah, it seems um, like he would be someone and... pretty chill to hang out with. Yeah. So one of the things I um. I'm pretty. I didn't like see all that much about it, but I know he was doing like a promotional thing for his album, where he like had a fake pregnant belly and like he was saying like, how, <laughs> "Yeah, how let's go." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was making fun of the uh the baby. I think because the baby was saying something about like all gays go to hell or some shit like that. Oh really? What? I think I think that's actually what me and uh yeah Alyssa you and talked about the last before. podcast. I don't think he was making fun of it. No, he was just doing, like, a promotional thing for his album. He was saying, like, he was having a baby, and the album was his baby. No, no. He was having the baby, and when he said that, the fucking doctors and him, all three said, let's go. 
Oh my god, what? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking <laughs> That's hilarious. Funny. Oh wow. Well, he did like a whole bunch of stuff for it. Like he had like actual like maternity pictures of him with a baby oh, yeah. belly. <laughs> I saw and, like, a post today where he just like got bored and bought some tits. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Lil Nas is a cool ass. He was dude. he was like covering his like nips, like holding them together, and he's just like taking these like movie selfies. I was like, bro, this guy <laughs> is something oh, else. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Oh, shit. But yeah, the uh, album I'm pretty sure was his baby. But I guess yeah, he was making fun I'm pretty of the sure baby. That was the kit. Yeah, I think it was during that on the way. <laughs> it was just like a little cherry on top, you know? Yeah. Um <laughs> but yeah. Moving away from one of the best uh internet personalities we have in this generation so far. Uh the last topic we are gonna talk about tonight is gonna be our spooky time plans or the fall season in general. The fall season. The fall mm-hmm. season. Uh, All right, first you... thing I gotta say on the topic. So you know um the ace ciders that you really like? Correct. They have a pumpkin flavor at the moment. Really? Yeah, the that's... other day I got two packs and I'm currently drinking one. How how is it? It's not bad. It's pretty good. Drinkable, for sure. Um, Drinkable. Well, I mean, you like it's... IPAs, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's not like a pumpkin spice flavor. It's just like a straight-up pumpkin flavor. Um, But yeah, That's it's pretty good. It's, um... I wouldn't say it's my favorite. But at the same time, like, Aces in general aren't exactly my favorite, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I don't blame you for that. Aces... I think they're just a very tolerable cider. Okay, so yeah, they're not exactly my favorite. Um, I don't know. I just don't like how sweet they are in a way, but they're definitely tolerable, as you said. Um, but yeah, the pumpkin is pretty good, and I think it's really cool that they came out with it for the fall season because <laughs> you know your boy loves pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> uh, you hated people who get those. I hate people uh, who get those. Janelle maybe got once one upon one a time. Like, mm. Oh, uh, dude, they're pretty damn delish. And I'm actually really excited because, like, a whole, like, um, a whole bunch of places do them. Like, I've gotten the McDonald's one a couple times. It's it's not that great. Like, fucking dude, last week I got one, and it's piping fucking hot when I get it, and <clears throat> when it cools off a little bit, I take a few sips. Mm-hmm. It just tastes like straight up bland ass coffee and then i'm eating my food and i drink a little more of it like halfway or so three quarters whatever i don't know two thirds and then i go to take velma to the park um the dog and um what when i get back it's like cooled down it's like fucking lukewarm warm room temperature basically yeah lukewarm (laughs) yeah and well, me and Sam are just in her room, and then, like, I pick up the cup, and I swish it around, and then I take a sip, boom. All the fucking syrup was at the bottom. It just needed to be mixed up. Damn. Then it was a pumpkin spice latte, but before, it was just a fucking bullshit coffee. <laughs> yeah. And fucking, I don't know, McDonald's just needs to get on their shit with making their fucking coffees. But I'm really excited about, like, I don't know, the Starbucks coffees like they have a few different types of pumpkin spice ones and i also looked into it and dutch bros and black route coffee have some pretty good sounding pumpkin spice things right. and i uh, would love to try them this season i have actually just learned something that i absolutely love this season uh mm. giant pretzels with beer batter cheese that what? With beer, not beer batter. Is it beer batter or beer yeah. cheese? Whatever. That shit fucks. <laughs> that <laughs> they have that as an appetizer at Yard House now. Oh my Ooh. god, it was so good. Wait, so what I, does that have to do with the season, though? Is that a seasonal? thing? I guess it's like an October fest thing. The beer cheese. Yeah, or the okay. pretzel in general too. They don't usually have it. 
Dude, now yeah. I'm craving a fucking pretzel with cheese. Yeah, that's pretty good. I I've had this idea lately that I want to get uh, Wetzel's pretzels and then buy queso from Chipotle. That, I don't think, would be the best mix, honestly. I kind of want to try it, though. Like, I don't see why not. Like, yeah, try it, but... Like, I get it for get, free. Get some chips just in case. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But yeah, a whole bunch of stuff about the season I'm excited about. Fucking... I don't know, I just really like the fall season in general. I yeah, never really considered it to best. be, like, my favorite, but I fucking, I don't know, I really love it right now. It um, literally is the best, though. Like, like, lately, this past week, it's been, like, all rainy and stuff up here in Washington, and it's mm -hmm. really fucking nice. Like, it's about goddamn time. <laughs> For some rain, yeah. And yeah, everyone says like, that that's only rain ever. Mm -hmm. Like, a few days ago... What it was like downpouring and there was thunder and lightning and over at Sam's house it was hailing too. Yeah. And it's just like uh, it's really exciting that we're finally seeing a change in the season. Yeah. I fucking miss the rain. And like the cool thing too about Washington is I'm sure not a lot of the plant life like dies. <laughs> oh, just a sec. Always forget to close doors. Loud TVs in the other room. Don't want it to interfere with the podcast. Mm, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, my favorite. It's literally my favorite season, though. I mean, spooky time. Yeah, you get to dress up. You honestly, it's like an excuse to cosplay. That's awesome. <laughs> um, it, not to mention like the fattest you can be off of sugar. Not to mention the the uh dead plant life. That makes it like a really cool, <laughs> like spooky aesthetic. Uh, yeah, I mean, you said you don't think things really die up here, but things definitely do. Like yeah. when you came up to visit, a lot of the stuff was dead, and then things started to come back to life in the springtime. But then, like when summer hit, and like all that heat, it just killed like so much grass and stuff. Everything was brown, and mm. like the heat wave just dried everything out. It's honestly depressing. Damn. Yeah. See, that's but, why I I don't know. Washington it, it, having somewhere that rains a lot more often is probably a lot cooler. Yeah. Love me some rain. The uh another great reason to love the fall is just like nighttime, I think is like comes faster, right? Like, it isn't the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't it's, the time change make you like that? Earlier, yeah. Yeah. That is amazing to me. I love that. Mm-hmm. I fucking love when the time changes <laughs> like that. Because, like, I've, I, you have your most tender moments at night, and if that nighttime comes faster, you, you're a fucking night owl. That's awesome. Hmm. And, uh... Yeah. So that's been uh, hopefully experience. it's going to be a good season. I know um, Sam like keeps asking, like, oh, what are we going to be for Halloween? And I'm like, we? What's this we? Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't... One, I don't really like dressing up for Halloween. I don't really do costumes and shit. But she loves it. Right. See, like, uh, Janelle and I want to do something, but I ha we haven't been able to think about what we want to do. I want to do what I really want to do is I want us to all go three go as uh, as, uh, as uh, scouts. Oh, yeah, but three? like that's yeah, me, what? Janelle, and Charles. Ha, Charles! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and they have like little doggy cloaks though, and that's like oh that'd be god. really that'd be really easy for him. But like for us, like we would need the jackets, we would need the little harnesses around. I mean, we could like go a little bit cheaper and just be like, oh, maybe just a jacket and the cloak, maybe just the cloak and something that kind of looks like the jacket. I don't know. But I, I was thinking that. I was thinking uh, maybe the Among Us thing, like how people were doing last year. I thought that was kind of cool. The uh. The uh, uh, vault dwellers from Fallout, uh, assassins. Why don't you cosplay as Gibby? Fuck you. 
That's not nice. I I do want to put together like a male uh wraith though. I think that'd be sick as fuck. Uh, I don't know about that one. A male version of wraith. I thought I think that'd be sick as fuck. I don't fuck. know what that would look like. But yeah, what would what would you wear costumes to though? Are you gonna trick or treat? Uh, maybe just walk around the neighborhood. I mean, it's just like I said, it's a, it's an excuse to cosplay. Plus, around in this neighborhood, I mean, it's so wealthy around here. Like, people are probably gonna give out like king size bars. And I'm all about free candy. <laughs> I'm all about free candy, baby. I'm just picturing you and Chanel going like door to door trick or treating with. Well, oh, imagine with our little boy. Yeah, we're gonna get <laughs> hella candy for that. <laughs> and people will be like, "Wait, how old are you?" And you'll be like, 16. 16. You have 14. a full. You have a full grown beard. Sixteen. <laughs> Sixteen. I bloomed early. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, no, but for real, like the fall season actually is legitimately the best season out of all. Like winter's uh kinda neat, but also like there's that threshold of too hot and too cold and fall is literally perfect. Mm-hmm. Like it's the just best starting to get chilly, the hoodie season. Hoodie se exactly. Mm -hmm. Hoodie season but not parka season. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So, like, I can still, like, just chill in my hoodie. I don't have to have a shirt underneath. But soon, I'm going to start needing to wear that fucking jean jacket that's thick as fuck. Yep. Oh, uh, but you like that, though. I mean, you could still probably wear that during the fall. Probably but I won't be, like, wearing that just chilling in my house. Not chilling in the house, no. Well... I... So, I think that kind of covers all the bases we had planned out. Uh, for this podcast, and I believe we're at like an hour and twenty or some shit like that. I, I don't even know. I have a lot of cutting to do now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think we should probably just wrap it there. Do you want to do the wrapping as well, or? Um. Yeah, let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us, me Hector Ellis Major and the Lone Sword for episode four. Um, we will. <laughs> We, I, I'm pretty sure we've said this every single episode, but we will try to get in a, on a more consistent schedule. Hopefully things mm -hmm. start opening up for us more, more free time and such. Right. But for now, you're just going to have to deal with the inconsistency. Um, we're trying here. It's mainly on me. My apologies. But thank oh, you for sticking through it. it. We appreciate it. Um, any closing comments from you? uh honestly i think just uh apologizing for the lack of content i'm still looking for an editor for my vods and stuff like that so right now all i am going to be posting is my uh is these podcasts uh go ahead and check out my vods on my twitch channel though or check it out whenever i am streaming uh it's usually a pretty good time uh but i am just gonna apologize for the no podcast last week because Things just got in the way, and I had yeah, a you were busy working a bunch. I was working. I, a bunch. I did work. I did work a lot last week. So, but I mean, I did have free time at some point. So anyway, back to blaming Honk. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, make sure that you like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, saying what you would want this podcast to be called. Camping Buddies is still up in the air, and I think it's going to be up in the air for the next two episodes, and by then, if no one has said anything, we're just going to go with Camping Buddies. Which I'm pushing for. Yep. All right, guys. See ya. All right.